Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of carotid artery stenosis. A 61-year-old male patient came with recurrent history of transient ischemic attacks. He was sent to our department for a carotid Doppler scan. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here we have measured the intimomedial thickness of the right common and internal carotid arteries. The intimomedial thickness is slightly increased in internal carotid artery. Let's check the spectrum. This is the right common carotid artery, which is showing a good amount of flow with a normal spectral pattern. This is the right internal carotid artery, which shows a normal flow velocity. This is the right external carotid artery, which shows slightly increased velocity. This is the transverse and longitudinal section of the right carotid bulb. You can see a smooth walled type 3 plug that is predominantly echogenic plug at the posterior wall causing mild luminal narrowing or stenosis. We have measured the stenosis and it was around 35 to 40% surface area reduction. Now let's look at the left side. This is the left common carotid and internal carotid arteries which shows normal intimomedial thickness. This is the left common carotid artery. This is the left internal carotid artery, which also shows normal flow velocities. The left external carotid artery also shows increased velocity. Now we want to look further on the left carotid bulb. This is the bifurcation of the common carotid artery into the anteriorly external carotid and posteriorly internal carotid artery. You can see the carotid bulb, the dilated portion here, which slightly extends to the internal carotid portion. Now, if you look at this picture, is there any plug here? So, always try to search plugs with color Doppler images. Here, you can see the common carotid artery, and this is the external and internal carotid arteries with the carotid bulb, and I can't see any lesion here. But if you look carefully, there is an echogenic line at the anterior aspect of the carotid bulb. That took my attention. I am watching this picture with slightly decreased gain, which gives you a better image when you are doing Doppler ultrasound. Due to this decreased gain, I may miss plaques also. So let's put some color Doppler here. On color Doppler image, you can see this anterior part is showing color void area. This is smooth color void area, the anterior part is the plug. Here's the real-time image. You can see some aliasing here and this area is constantly void of color which goes in favor of sonolucent plug. Don't judge the plug on this type of dark image. Increase the gain and try to understand whether this is sonolucent or predominantly sonolucent plug that is type 1 or type 2 plug. So we have increased the echogenicity again and you can see this is a predominantly hypoechoic plug which goes in favor of type 2 variety. It is causing luminal narrowing here. Let's check on real time and you can see this is the carotid bulb. It is dividing into external and internal carotid artery. This is the common carotid artery and now it's dividing into two parts. So we have measured the stenosis and it shows around 45 to 49% that is the mild surface area reduction or luminal narrowing or stenosis. Now let's end with vertebral arteries. Both vertebral arteries show normal flow velocity. The right vertebral artery shows around 28 centimeter per second and the left vertebral artery shows 40 centimeter per second. If you check carefully, the resistive index is more on the right one. So the left vertebral artery is relatively giving brain more blood supply. However, both are showing anti-grade flow. So in summary, mild luminal narrowing or stenosis of the right carotid bulb due to predominantly echogenic, that is type 3 plug, is noted. Also, there is mild luminal narrowing or stenosis of the left carotid bulb due to substantially sonolucent, that is type 2 plug. Now the take home message. In case of recurrent stroke, searching for soft plugs that is type 1 or type 2 plugs in the carotid system is necessary to identify the cause of recurrence. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.